Hello, good afternoon uh, everybody. Um, it's been a while, a few weeks I guess. Um, I thought I'd uh, show you a couple of things that uh, I've done recently. Um, because it all leads on from the acquisition of the Jam Man Stereo. Uh, just about Christmas time. Uh, in order to do my solo work. And what I've been doing is recording drum beats and a little bit of guitar and a harmony vocal for example uh, in order to enhance the live experience which has worked well but the uh, only sort of problem not really problem but um, slight downside of this is of course you can plug microphone and your normal stuff in there and use the overdub facility which I've used quite successfully uh, but it just means once you've done the overdub and you think oh well I wanted to add something or maybe move the mix around, you can't do it after that. So I thought, well, what it would be good to do is record the various components onto the computer first, and then put them on, on mass, if you like, onto here. And then any time I want to change it or I don't really like it, I'll go back to the computer, add tracks, take tracks away, put them back onto here and use this as the player. I don't use this as a live looper anyway, I use this as a player. So I thought, well, okay, I need to get some kind of way of recording the stuff onto the computer because any recording I've done in the past, I've left that to other people. I've just concentrated on playing. Um, and then it dawned on me that I've got no way of getting my guitar or microphones onto the computer. So I needed a interface. Well, as I said, I've never bothered with this kind of thing before, and so, of course, when I started to look at microphone interfaces, a huge uh, other world appeared, slightly mind-boggling, uh, as to the different interfaces you can get, etc., 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 of course, recording, as I say, a whole new world, which I'd really never... I've got one of those little Porter Studios a long time ago, but that was back in the 80s, and the thing has died long since. So I started to look at analog to digital converters and looked at all these little boxes where you just plug one thing in, it comes out the other end, plug in your computer. Uh, but then I was, as I was going up the um, up the price brackets, basically, I always go and say cheapest first because I haven't got a big budget. Um, and I came across this little thing of beauty. Oops, I should have unplugged this first, shouldn't I? Not very well prepared for this. Um, there it is. It's the Yamaha AG06. And the best thing about it is, it is essentially a mic interface. So it's got two channels there for microphone and instrument. Uh, it's got all the channels too, um, but it sort of doubles as a little mixer as well. It's not a mixer, it's got no EQ on it, so it's essentially a microphone interface, but because Yamaha, the mic preamps apparently are very good quality, did my research, um, they're very good quality, plus, plus over my shoulder you'll see uh, Cubase and because Yamaha own Steinberg, it comes with a light version of Cubase, which is fantastic. So the software alone must be must be worth like 50 euros, I guess. But this came shipped for 139 euros with the software. And I have to say, it's a fantastic little thing because not only can you do the basic recording, and you've got other inputs to um, mix in, um, it's got a great little switch which has got a, the final position of the switch is a, what they call a loopback switch. So you've got dry in, mix if you want to use the other uh, inputs. But if you want to mix, because what I thought I'd do, which I have actually I'm not doing anymore, is I wanted to mix the main mix down to a, like a two track. Um, and I thought, well, how am I going to do that? Do I need to mix off my computer? But using this little loopback facility, you can open up 
SoundForge, which I use, a very old version of SoundForge, and it records the mixer is the output, or Cubase is the output, and this little thing loops it back, and you can uh, configure whatever software you're using to receive the signal from Cubase. Um, configure this for the input of that software, so it mixes this down to like a two-track master, what would have been in old terms. Uh, and then I was using the output from that to go into the looper, but actually that was an unnecessary step. I'm putting the output mix from this directly onto the looper, just pressing the button recording it, which is a cleaner way to do it. There's less steps to deteriorate your signal, but if you did want to record the output from Cubase uh, onto another source, or just to make it to an MP3 or something, then you can use this little loop switch which makes the output of the computer back into the computer uh, as well. So you two softwares running on the computer at the same time can act as the source and the um, destination. So altogether, um, it's <laughs> phantom power as well, um, of course, for my new condenser mic which I bought, which is fantastic. I never realised the difference between the condenser and the stage dynamic would be uh, so different. But uh, yes, yeah, a lovely little beast. It's got some um, effects built in as well, which are configurable from the computer. Um, but basically it's reverb and a bit of uh, EQ. And there's a, uh, an amp modeler inside it. Well, if you want to go heavy metal, the problem is it's noisy, so you wouldn't use that. Um, but altogether, oh yeah, and it's good for podcasting apparently, which I won't be doing because there's a little headset input there as well. So if you've got a headset with a microphone, that goes in there as well. So I have to say, a thing of beauty, it looks quite cheeky as well, doesn't it? It's not just one of those anonymous little boxes where you plug the microphone in and digital comes out the other side. So uh, there you go, highly recommended. Nobody pays me, <laughs> as you can see from the lack of professionality in my videos but um, yeah if you want something simple to record onto your computer can't recommend this enough 139 euros with the Cubase what's not to like so um, see you all again soon